Welcome to a new experimental series I'm doing on YouTube. I've done videos like this, but they have not been categorized under a specific video series. So I'm just going to call this wealth explanations. And the idea behind it is I'm going to give you my knowledge and all the details and explanation on a specific topic and give you the ins and out of it from perspectives and opinions of different millionaires and successful people. Because oftentimes they have contradictory perspectives on a certain thing and I basically having seen hundreds of different perspectives and interviews and so forth I try and distill that and explain to you these different perspectives so in this episode we will be talking and yes this says will uh, in this episode we will be talking about scalability so basically generally speaking it's fairly true that if you have a business or a service or a good or product that can scale and you can reach more people, you can deliver value to more people by selling stuff to more people, uh, stuff that's enough value for people willing to pay for, then you will make more money. It's generally speaking true. However, there is a bit of an argument behind it and I think uh, I can explain the whole thing. It's really not contradictory if you have an overarching view of it. It's just a nuanced topic. So there's two big camps. One group of people, they think, yeah, definitely, you have to scale. You have to reach millions and millions. The more people you reach, the better it is, the more money you make. Because if you can sell you know, um, stuff to a million people, let alone a billion people, guess what? You're going to make a billion dollars and so you always want to reach more and more people and then the other camp uh, you know they're pretty much saying well you know that's not always true uh, sometimes you you can do really well if you pr provide a tremendous amount of value to a specific person and you just really skilled at what you do and most people fall into the first camp and the basic idea is that you know, and they say this constantly, a lot of them, they're like, you want to avoid and escape the rat race of trading your time, your work hours, your day to day nine to five hours for money. You want to stop trading your time for money. And therefore you want to get into something like a business that's scalable, where you can sell to people without you physically having to be there to service every single person. Now, Here's my nuanced explanation about the whole thing. The first thing I learned, which I learned very recently in the last year, is that you do not need to meet, you do not need to reach millions of people, let alone hundreds of thousands of people, to make a million dollars. I think it is a bit of a fallacy that even some millionaires don't realize and the reason is is because they've made their money in a specific way and therefore they think that this is how it goes. The more and more people you reach is how you do it. And if we do some simple math, you can just see how this works. Let's say you sell a $1,000 product to 1,000 people in a year. That's a million people. That's a million dollars. How many people did you really impact and reach and get to sell? A thousand dollars. Now, obviously, there's more to it than that. You know, you have to maybe go through a hundred thousand leads or maybe even more to get to a thousand people who are willing to pay for your product that's a thousand dollars again it is the point is though you do not have to actually sell to millions of people to reach that and again it there's a bunch of there's tons of variations to this let's say you have a hundred dollar product if you can sell it to ten thousand people that's a million dollars <laughs> you get the idea though so the idea that you need to reach millions upon people is out of the question. And I think that's the first thing I need to address. And I think this is, un in this is very enlightening because it's so overwhelming and so burdensome to have this idea that you have to reach millions and billions of people. And it becomes so daunting that people don't even try. Now, having said that, I do know a lot of billionaires who they never really went into it looking to make money, nor did they look so far into the future and get overwhelmed at it. They were really just focused on a local market and helping the people there. And slowly, by the industry, by the product they were selling, by the service, 
or the idea that they realized they could expand, they started expanding. Sometimes very slowly, like Sam Walton, he just started you know, growing in the state he was in, and then eventually he went to the next state, and so forth. And to a certain degree, if you can have tremendous impact or skill in a specific area where there's a lot of demand and not enough supply, or it's a un or your skill or experience or good or product or service is very necessary because of the market conditions and there's not anything out there and yours does a great job of servicing people oftentimes you may be able to exchange you may be able to exchange your hours for dollars for a very very high rate that's what doctors and lawyers oftentimes are for but generally now, having said all that, you know, generally speaking, with those exceptions in mind, there is a bit of truth to the fact that scalability can help. So if you can reach more people in some way, whether it's by software or video training course or whatever else, perhaps you may be able to reach more people and therefore oftentimes automate or at least hire off or outsource the process so that maybe other people can service that and then you manage the whole thing or you own the business and therefore by reaching more people you can make more none you can make more money that's all i gotta say as always like and subscribe thanks for watching peace